asking for a lot of ganks. You know, the classic, like, uh, we're losing gank, gank, gank. Uh, here, Dampier's doing something he really shouldn't be doing, which I actually even point out to him. He's hanging out in our lane, which is fine. Like, it's fine for him to hang around the lane for a second or two after ganking. But he shouldn't be auto-attacking the creep wave, especially with the double damage. So, like, look how far the creep wave is now pushed up because we're sitting there auto-attacking. And I understand he's thinking, well, I have a limited amount of time here. I want to get experience in gold while I can before leaving. Um, but really, it's just, it's not good because now we're kind of all the way up by their tower, which is something I really, really don't like. Um, both because it's going to make it hard to kill them, put us in a more dangerous position, uh, make my farm a little more risky, etc. Uh, yeah, here Plague throws out an Intelligent Ward, um, which is just good. I, I mean, this is kind of a typical ward more often in competitive games than than these ones, but or than in pubs, but... Um, uh, because that ward will let us see when um, Polly and Hammer come up into the lane, so we can loop around behind in the forest. It's actually a very effective lane in our lore in this. Oh yeah, the, I forgot to mention. So yeah, obviously this was a single draft game, but uh, also it's actually not a pub, uh, so I, I kind of failed you guys in that regard too. Uh, it's actually a team matchmaking game. Um, we have uh, four people, as does the other team. Um, all clan, I believe. I'm not 100% on that. I don't remember exactly which game was. I know that Plague and Dampier are both with me. I think Voodoo Jester is as well. Um, yeah, so here we see Hammer. Uh, I'm just going to ult him. No reason not to. He's off by himself. I understand, you know, saving all cooldowns, but if an ult cooldown's a kill, no reason not to use it. But yeah, so technically this isn't Harigo's pubbing. This is actually Harigo's team matchmaking. Um, but inevitably team matchmaking is going to be a fair amount of my games, and I want to I can get it, because I prefer playing with people I know than, than pubs. Um, I know maybe you learn less about pubbing from that, but uh, so be it. Uh, yeah, we can see, beca thankfully, because of this ward, we can see exactly how far Polly comes up. Unfortunately, he was getting something from his courier, so he opted not to come up when he would have normally, maybe? Um, yeah, so uh, I actually, I have, I recorded three games, which uh, hopefully I'll be commentating all three of them for you guys. Oh yeah, so we, here we see Polly went into the river, so basically he's screwed, like, he's blocked himself off, Dampier comes from the other side. This is just simple map awareness. Watch, watch the mini-map, and thankfully watch this amazing ward, see when people take themselves out of position, capitalize on it, and, you know, our mid paid attention was going to block off the other side, so no matter what, Polly had nowhere to run. Um, but yeah, so I'll be casting or commentating this game and then hopefully commentating two more, which I think will both be pubs. I'm not 100% again, um, but I think so. I'll obviously try to say more informatively once I actually get to that game. Uh, so yeah, here I'm trying to finish my sustainer, so I'm just using the courier over at the other shop. This is actually a dumb thing to do. I just I sent the courier to myself now. Um, and so it's going to run right across the middle of the map, basically. What I should have done is I should have used a rally point down in, like, our forest by, like, um, just kind of like the middle of our forest by that bottom left orange uh, creep camp. I should have kind of sent a rally point there and then rallied it to me uh, using shift or, in my case, alt, whatever you guys use. Um, because, yeah, you see it's kind of run through the river now. It really could have easily gotten picked off. So just being careful with your courier, there's no reason not to. Sometimes in the past I have been smart enough to do things like this. Anyway, uh, so... Uh, here we see them. Um, we're going to go on them again. And, yeah, pick both of them up. Again, that was just Plague hiding out in the outpost, and that ward kind of showing them. Uh, it wasn't even necessarily the ward, because the creep was kind of around there. I mean, it's basically just an issue of us dominating this lane. Uh, you could ask, if I was on their team, what I would do. Well, I mean, hopefully I might have tried to arrange better lanes, but, I mean, since it is team matchmaking, maybe you can expect that, but it's possible they didn't really have much better options. Um, they had to expect Swift Plague Bottom. So, first of all, I would definitely have Slither down. Yeah, because they actually have a dual range tower. Alright, well, first of all, they have Pyro and Hammer. So, um, if I was them, I would have had Pyro and Hammer in the same lane. And I probably would have had Pyro and Hammer in this lane, I think. And then, no. Ugh, that's really tough to say. No, I would have had Pyro and Hammer in the top lane. First of all, because Pyro's, like, I guess, their closest thing to a carry. Um, so having him farm top is better. Also, generally, if you can put a dual range up against uh, your opposing carry lane, that would be good. So having dual range would have been good because they really could have stayed back and still harassed um, without coming up into range. Obviously, the higher HP hammer is harder to kill, but... Mm, I don't know. It's tough to say. Well, anyway, here Polly just comes up for no reason, so I'm going to kill him. Uh, yeah. Like, the reason I charged up there, even if he'd run back... Um, 
I would have just been able to ult him, which is what my plan was. I assumed he was just going to run back right away, but he continued running forward, actually, so there was no reason even to waste my ult, and I just, uh, just spun him to death. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, maybe not, you know, like I said, I, this is one of the reasons why I was kind of discouraged initially from casting, or from doing more of these games, was because uh, the in the matchmaking level I'm at right now, the skill level isn't that incredibly high, even unfortunately in team matchmaking. There's some, there have been some good, good games though. Um, unfortunately, some of them have not been recorded because I'm an idiot and have been limited hard drive space, which is why I need to get these done now. Um, but uh, yeah, so I mean, like obviously my initial plan was just to kind of get through, through the lower level of matchmaking and then get to the higher level of matchmaking and then be able to do good games for you guys. But then I just didn't have that much time to play, so unfortunately, because I haven't casted anything in a long time or created. I don't know why I'm saying casted. I mean, I guess it's casted. Whatever. Commentated. Um, then I, I really felt compelled to just create something. So I've, I've done a few, even though they're not the highest skill level. Obviously, I will work on getting good games whenever possible, but until then, I'm just going to kind of make what I can because I feel bad about not having made anything in a while. So yeah, here, um, Plague can fortunately go stat. Like, all right, so, oh yeah, see, Polly's here. I'm just going to use my ult on him. Um, because I see that he's alone by the tower. The reason why I know he's going to be alone by the... Well, I, I know there's not another hero there because I can see, and the creep wave just came up, so there's no chance of another creep wave coming up for a little while, so it's safe for me to go charge an ult. Uh, it's possible he could uh, tongue-tide me, but I still don't think he would have enough damage to kill me with tongue-tide. Um, if he had his ult, it would be a different story. I should probably be more cautious because he could you know, throw in an ult, trap me, or morph me, throw in an ult, trap me, tongue-tie me, hold me at the tower, and that would be pretty brutal. So I want to avoid that, but because he's on level 4, it was pretty safe for me to dive there. Um, yeah, so because I'm, we're dominating this lane so much, I can pretty much just farm it now. Um, because they're, you know, really afraid to come up. Obviously when Polly does, I just kill him. So Plague, using time effectively, uh, is stacking the jungle for me because I am going to go room decks. Um, so this is basically just... Um, you know, being good support, always using your time effectively. Like, there's not really a ton of a reason for him just to hang out in lane. He's already got level 7, which means he has max level nuke. He's got one level of his, his ult. Obviously, as Plague, you know, maxing out your ult is kind of important. So that that's kind of, people pointed this out in the past. One of the bad things about Plague's support is that he really does need experience because he needs, uh, because his, he needs to scale his ult. Um, but still, I mean, this is kind of, like, I mean, he could just hang around the lane, but this is kind of just a more effective use of time. It's creating extra experience and gold. Uh, for the team, specifically for the carry. So that's what he's doing. Finishing my rune axe now. Uh, just continuing to farm. I understand this isn't the most exciting, but like, like I said, I mean, nine kills so far, that's a little bit better than normal carry play. And I could not ever do a carry video. Um, so yeah, let me, guys, or let me know, guys, if you ever do want to see another carry video or not. Obviously, I don't... <sighs> carries aren't really super my playstyle. Generally, you know, I like to play Solomon's Ah, and I really just, uh, I let that tower go without even paying attention. Pretty bad. Yeah, and here also the courier came at a really inconvenient time, right as people were kind of charging me. So I kind of just ran back, um, didn't worry about anything. But yeah, I, I thought the tower was not in deny range, but I guess it had been, and I just wasn't paying enough attention to that. Um, yeah, here you can see kind of indecision on my part, indecisiveness on my part. I wasn't sure if I was going to need to spin or not, um, or I wasn't sure if I was going to spin or not because I didn't think I would need to, but it turned out I did. Uh, or it just would have been convenient. Here I'm starting to wait for my, my spin to come up. But unfortunately, they're running back now, so I kind of want to go. Um, I try to ult and to hammer to the river, but he fortunately runs back this way anyway, you know, since the ult was not in range. Um, and then again, the hammer has a lot of HP and reasonable ways to escape, so I'm not going to bother waiting for Plague to come slow. I'm just going to go. Uh, yeah, Slither tries to juke us, but unfortunately, he's seen. Plague gets a good slow from the other side of the trees, and I'm going to finish him off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean. So, yeah, so as I was saying, um, carry is not extremely my playstyle. I generally like to play solo mid ish, heroes, gankers. Um, in some of the videos you've seen before, I've kind of played more support. Um, that kind of comes from, even though I don't necessarily like to play support very much, or it's probably not my strong suit. Um, obviously, in a lot of pub games, you know, people are always instantaneous to pick the carry heroes, the gankers, etc. So, uh, someone has to play support if you want well rounded teams, and this is why you'll see. Uh, a Hellbringer video actually coming up for me. It's probably the next one I'm going to do. Um, because Hellbringer is such a strong hero and someone's going to play him, even though he's not one of my best. 
I do really like playing Swift Blade, though. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, I realized there wasn't a ton to say about this game. I mean, pretty much the game never, never switched into the, the lane phase or out of the lane phase. It was pretty much just all laning. But I mean, this kind of, if anything, would just show you the the value of setting up successful lanes. I don't think Hammer, um, Hammer Poly was the best lane they could have set up by a long shot. Pyro Hammer is just much better. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much about it. I'll work on creating some more videos and. I hope you guys enjoyed this one.